Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will see how to insert, edit and remove menus from a WordPress website. So let's get started. So I have this 2016 theme installed on my website and uh, it doesn't have a menu over here. So first of all, let's go ahead and see how to create a menu for our website. So the first thing you will do is uh, go to the URL of your website and uh, just click on customize. And uh, here you have an option called menus. So just click on that. So these are the menus that I have on my WordPress. And uh, here we can see the different locations where you can add the menu. So if we just open this testing menu, we can see this is the testing menu. It is a big one. Now we will add this testing menu to our website. So for that, you have to select a location. So just click on view all locations. So we have two options in our theme. So let's select primary menu and uh, we will select the testing menu. And uh, here we can see our testing menu is displayed on our website. So it is that simple to add a menu to your WordPress website. Now let's go ahead and create our own menu and add it to our website. So we'll just deselect our menu from the primary menu option. So we'll just click on select. Now our menu is gone. So we'll just go back. Now to create your own menu, you have to just click on this create new menu button and just give a name for your menu. So we'll just type main menu and we can select the location right here. So we'll just click on primary menu and then we'll click on next. So our primary menu has been added. Now the next thing to do is add items to our menu. So we'll just click on add items and we have this list of pages, posts, categories, tags and uh, formats. So we can select pages from here and it will be added to the menu. So first of all, we will select the blog page. So we'll just click on this item over here. And if I just close this, we can see that our uh, menu item is displayed over here. So let's add some more menu items. So we'll also add home and uh, Amazon store and uh, we will also add uh, about over here and now if you look at our website we can see we have these menu items over here now we can also reorder our menu items so suppose if you want home to be the first menu item you can just click and drag it to the top and we can see the menu has updated over here now you can also create multi-level menus in uh, wordpress so we'll just add some items over here so we'll just go to posts and uh, we will add a couple of posts. So what we'll do is we will add these two posts as the child of this Amazon store. So for that, you have to just click and drag it over here and slide it to the right. And now if you take a look at our website, we can see we have this Amazon store. And if we hover over that, we have this child item. Now we will add this as well as the child of uh, this item. So now if you hover over this, we can see we have two menu items over here. Now you have one more option over here when you add items. So if you click on add items, we can see we have this option of custom links. So what you can do is add your own link over here. So if you just type google.com and if you type Google over here and click on add to menu, we can see Google is displayed over here. And if I click on this menu item, then I'll be taken to that link. All right. So after creating and uh, editing all these uh, menu items, all you have to do is click on publish and that's it. Your menu has been saved to the website. So let's just go ahead and uh, open the website. And here we can see our menu and uh, the child items as well. All right. So now let's see how to delete a menu from uh, a WordPress website. So just go to customize and uh, then go to the menu that you want to delete. So this is the one that we want to delete. So just click on that. And down here we have an option called delete menu. So if I click on that, we can see the menu is deleted from our website. 
So that is basically how you create, edit and delete menus in WordPress. Now if you go to the dashboard and if you go to appearance and go to menus, we can see all the menus over here as well and uh, if we click on this, we can see the menus that we had and we can go ahead and make changes to the menu from here as well. Now the styling of the menu totally depends on the theme that you are using but of course you can go ahead and uh, go to customize and if you go down here we can see additional CSS and uh, if you go over here we can customize our CSS over here. So if you want to override some styling from this menu you can add your styles right here. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.